Man, I just got to start off by saying Happy New Year's, and I'm sick as a dog. Happy New Year's, you guys. This is Baron J67. I'm X, or I'm just T Jones. I keep saying the X T Jones, but the X was just a placeholder. So just call me T Jones. Okay. Baron J67 and T Jones. Well, Happy New Year's, guys. Um, So you're going to hear me sniffling and sneezing throughout this whole thing. But I'm here for y'all, and we're going to make this work. We're going to get it, man. We're going to get it. So So, since, since it's New Year's, uh, it's. I mean, I got We got to talk about New Year's goals, New Year's resolutions, things that we're gonna try to do past February, uh, which we know most people fall off of their New Year's resolutions. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and call these lifestyle implanta- implementations. <laughs> yeah. Uh, implant lifestyle implants. So what I want to implant into my life is uh, I'm gonna lose weight, man. Uh, I'm I'm freaking fat. It's killing me. Uh, what are you gonna? Are you gonna try to exercise more or eat right? <sighs> Because I, I, for some apparent reason, I don't think you eat bad. I don't eat a lot. I, because think it, I just sit around. It, real it real just, shit. People just really think I sit around and just. Yeah, <laughs> no. Because that, that ain't never the case. That's never been me. I've never been that guy to just sit around. And you always see me with food in my hand. Yeah. That's not the case. I just have poor eating habit mm-hmm. when I do eat. So, like. Let's say today the only thing I'll eat will probably be like a big ass bowl of cereal. Yeah, like so that don't help me. Yeah, it don't help my cause at all. And then it won't even be healthy cereal. It'll be like fruity pebbles or something. Yeah, something with so, some extra sweet. Right. So for me, when it comes to the whole weight loss thing, I just want to do better. So I want to eat portioned decent meals. Okay. Before you continue anymore, how many lifestyle goals are you going to give yourself? Only like right. two. I think two is perfect. Yeah, if I do any more than that, I'm gonna fall off. Yeah. I promise you, I will. Two is perfect. Yeah. Okay, so so, so that's losing one. weight and what else? And then the next one is to just progress and get better at streaming and all this podcast and all that other stuff is just to advance it and move forward. Okay, that's that's it. Everything I, else, I, my, mine's is the same pretty much. Mine's is is to, I think it's to lose weight. It's to lose it's to lose weight and eat right. All in the same category. Got you. I think I'm. I want to start going back to the gym a lot more, and I uh, and you always feel like this when the New Year's. Yeah, here. always. Because all it's the new. vibe. It's the yeah, vibe. It's yeah, like it oh yeah, new, new new year, person. new me. New me. <laughs> I'm gonna be a better person. No, I think with me. Um, yeah. With me, it, it's more of a scheduling thing. That's that's what threw me yeah. off because I was going to the gym every, every. It was every other day. Yeah. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, and then our schedules change and everything changed as well. So. Uh, it's me is getting back on track with my schedule. So I guess I can just say that getting back on schedule with my, with my actual schedule. And then, um, like I said, I agree with you about the, the streaming, being a content creator and then all like just trying to go back in and eat, eat right, eat yeah. correct, yeah. like not eat how, cause I eat one meal a day too. And it'll be something that's not completely yeah, healthy, not good at all. you know? So, um, mine is eating right. And you know what tripped me out? What? I don't mean to I don't mean to cut you off. What I found out about salt. So a while back, um, back when I was really on some like I'm gonna be healthy stuff. Yeah. And then I completely fell off. But I went and sat with a nutritionist and everything. Uh-huh. So I sat with them and I was like, man, I just hate when you have that one bad day and all of a sudden you pick up two pounds. And they were like, no, you. What that is, it's not you eating that much. It's you taking in that much sodium. Because mm-hmm. the salt retains water yeah so you all of a sudden gain a bunch of water weight on so when you have that one cheat day or you had a bad weekend and you come back and hit the scale you pick up five pounds yeah or three pounds it's water weight now of course over time if you don't work out that fat and everything you got will turn into just sit on because you don't know what, yeah yeah but it's the salt so when i learned that i don't eat sunflower seeds anymore yeah i saw you know that's a big problem for me for well, eating wise is I take in a lot of uh, a lot of uh, fast food, mm-hmm. and then I eat a lot of uh, not fresh foods. So what is that? Salt. Yeah. The salt levels on preheat. I mean, damn. If I heat up a, a burrito, oh my god, it's like six hundred milligrams of salt. Yeah. Oh, uh, excuse me. Oh. Uh, yeah. I, me, I try to rock, I try to stay away from them type of stuff too. I didn't see. I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. think. I never. I guess I didn't think about that. Yeah, because everybody knows. You yeah. Say water. Like, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I just with me. <sighs> With me, I try to I try to get stuff cooked in home, and I make like two three days worth of it. Try to stick to like two days because yeah. it's three of us, so we're gonna eat. That's probably gonna last like a day. So we even have to implement a whole change in our home. So it, I think I want to stay away from fast food on like a 
you know, I probably eat fast food probably like, let's say six times a week. Got you. Right. So that's like that's almost once a day. Yeah. Right. And uh, like I said, I got to drive to work. I got to yep. drive home. I, I, you know, stuff it, like that. It's so, all in the prep. And that's yeah. the part that gets me because for me, it's always been a situation of me and my, me and my wife have the exact same schedule. So it's like. I can't really be like, hey, can you cook? And then me, I hate cooking because when I cook, I don't want to eat it. Yeah. It's not that I can't cook. It's just, it's a weird thing for me. You're standing, cook, the, well, I mean, I'm the same it. way. Yeah, I'm sitting here. Get, I got to cook it. I got to yeah. prep it. Yep. Prep it, cook it, you know, go through the, share it. Yeah. And then after all of that, I don't want to eat it. I don't want to eat it. You know, you've been else. tasting it, yeah. making sure it's good. Yep. You know, you probably drink a glass of lemonade and that's it yeah that's what i'm saying so i might actually if i cook more i might mess around and starve myself into a, a slimmer figure you know, you know what you should try you should try to get a uh like a, a book and try to like do i think i want to try this get yourself like a cooking book on like some weird like some shit you like shit you probably gonna eat yeah yeah but it's like something you've never like really to made before oh, I got you. and just like huh i'm gonna make this and just make it and then it, now you're not even if you don't eat it that day, you can eat it for lunch the next oh. day, stuff like that. So uh, we even tried the the people who bring the food to you. Oh, was it cool? That was cool because they bring you the ingredients and you prep it. You and you could not prep it, but you cook it. Like yeah. they give you everything, the the down to the milligrams and the the ounces of everything you would need, and you just literally they give you the they give you a card with all of the. Like the, the 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 directions on how to prep it, how to make it, and you literally just go down and listen. You cook it. All you need is pots and pans. That's Damn. that's it. What how was it expensive? Um, because that was my worry with that one. It wasn't expensive. Well, it 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 can be. I'm gonna okay. say that because we didn't do it that much. Um, when you sit there and you have to, you know, fork up this money to buy all of this stuff, and then sometimes it ain't stuff that you you like. You know, I don't eat pork. So when I see they got a three menu thing with pork in it yeah. or pork on it, it's like, damn, yeah. I don't really want that. So I don't, it can get expensive. Excuse you got a what's the name? You got to have the money for it as well. But the, the same ingredients that you buy in the box, you can go to Walmart and get. You can go True. to Rouse and get. Oh, so they give you the card on what, do they give you the ingredient list? So if you wanted to make it again, you yes. Can go, so you oh, get okay, the, so you get the you. card. And you get the card with the directions on there, and you can keep that forever. Oh, okay. So now you got that ingredient, and if it's something that you like, you got it. See, I know, I know, I gotta stop being, um, I gotta stop being lazy. Um, that's that's really what it is. It's a matter of, I can come up with every excuse in the world. Oh, I don't have time. I don't got that. Uh, I could take an hour out and make some damn food. Yeah, like, of, of, like I could cook for the for the week see, if I really wanted. You know to. what though? When I say that, that that kind of it irritates me. Like, oh, I can take like a few. Because I, if I get in there to cook, it ain't going to take me an hour. No. Nah. It ain't going to cook. Like, because you, you know me, cook. I come from that. Yeah, you So, cook. like, if I'm in there cooking, I'm going to cook some food. Yeah, you're going to make and some And, like, <laughs> the problem with being Jamaican is they cook everything twice. Yeah, so, everything yeah. is cooked more than once. Yeah. Chicken, yeah. oxtail, you know, yeah. even roast beef is cooked. Or not, or pot roast is yep. cooked more than once. Oh, I haven't had a good pot roast. Yeah. So, um, a lot of stuff. And then... You got you get yourself a pressure cooker. I got one. Get yourself, yeah, you got the, the 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 pressure cooker XL. Yeah, get you one of them or get you a. a, a I don't know why my ass is scared to cook with it. I was cook with it. Yeah, my grandma was like, "Boy, just throw everything in there. Just that's all you Literally. gotta do." She was like, "Seasonings and all, just chop it up, throw it, throw it, in, it in there, there, and you're good to go." Yeah, and just go. Yeah, she. My grandma said she used her so much that she has to memorize where the buttons are because everything's <laughs> smudged off. I'm yeah, I have to get her a new one. I gotta, we gotta buy a new one. We broke ours. We oh, ended man. up breaking ours. Yeah, she had to get hers replaced. The ring. Yeah, because she used it so yeah. much. So that is an amazing thing. It's one thing you can cook everything in that. The most you'll probably have to do is get a like say you know nobody's gonna want to cook rice in it. Take the rice out, wash it out, then cook the. No, you're probably going to need another pot for some like rice. rice anyway. some, stu some, some stuff like that, and you'll be good to go. So, yeah, we made chili in it, yeah. wings. Yeah, yeah, we did all of that. You could do lasagna in it. Yeah. Yeah. And you just press the button. You just push the button away. and walk away. Yeah. And it locks by itself when you when you don't hear the shh no yeah. more. Oh, it's cooking. Then you go about do your thing, and then you'll hear the whistling thing, and then the sound will go off. and It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm going to stop being a bum. I'm going to get on it. I'm going yeah. to just start doing it because... I'll make life easy. Then we can make it fun. Mm -hmm. um, so, movies this year, dog. Okay. 
What are you excited for? All seriousness? Like, out of all the movies that's coming out, just give me the three that you're excited for. Avengers. uh, The Avengers movie, Infinity War. Um, I'm looking forward to... um, I can't believe I forgot. Oh, Ready Player One. Don't tell me we're going to have the same list. It's probably going to be the same list. And, <laughs> Black, and Black Panther. Panther. Yeah, see. <laughs> like, but but I'm going to tell you this, though. I'm more excited for Black Panther than anything else. I'm I'm more, I think I'm more excited for Infinity War. Fair. I'm, no. Infinity War, not Warfare. That's in Call of Duty. I'm going to say, the, um, the reason why I'm, I'm excited, because, well, we have to watch Black Panther before we watch it, too. <laughs> because they're going to introduce the storm that they haven't introduced to us yet. Right. Well, oh, supposedly this is spoiler alert. Yeah. Allegedly, he has that stone. Right. Yeah. Now, uh, so we and it comes out before it anyway. Yep. So we got to watch Black Panther. We're gonna you're gonna have to. Um, Infinity War. You get to see, not only the return of Cap. Yep. Um, you get to see them all come together, and now. You get to finally see Thanos. <laughs> yep. Hey, why are he walking like Debo? Like, what sure, stone? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it, to me, to me, I'm, <laughs> I'm excited for that. I like that. Is because they're all gonna be there. Uh, so you get to see a piece from every. You get to see the Hulk back in action. So allegedly, you get to see Hulk in the Iron Man suit, in yeah. the Hulk Buster suit. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> so, um. I'm excited for all of that. I think Black Panther is new. It, it's it's new to us. Because he's not a character a lot of people talk about. No. Which he is the Batman of... Pretty much. Of Marvel. Pr- just a whole different continent. A whole different continent. <laughs> he's richer. He's uh, He has superhuman strength. Mm-hmm. He's, he is the super Batman yeah. of Marvel. Yeah. Like... The dude can take shots. Yeah, like he's, he's a good. One. He ain't got to worry about dog bites. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be that, real. You know, what I'm really hoping for. I hope they bring in Lady Slay, uh, Killmonger's yeah, uh, Killmonger's wife. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think he's married at this point. I think they're young. I, they see. When I was watching some of the the breakdowns of the trailers, and they talked about all of the people that they got some dope ass. Yeah, and dope characters. Hey, I'm so I'm just waiting for it. I'm just I'm excited. The reason why I'm I'm excited for well, because I am excited for Black Panther. Don't True. get me wrong. I get you actually get to see, like like I said, they don't t- you know nobody talks about Black Panther like that. No, no. You know when you talk of Marvel, nobody. You know he, I hear more about Moon Knight. I didn't than hear, Black exactly. Panther. Nobody yeah. talks about Black Panther like yeah. that. That's just being real. Yeah. You know when people say, hey, "What's your favorite superhero?" Nobody, nobody says Black says, Panther. But now you know, think about how many kids they're gonna say. Black, Black Panther. Panther, yeah. My nephew says it. Th- thank you. Black Panther is his favorite. That's what he was for Halloween. Thank so you. Thank you. It's like now we're being introduced to something that's new to us. So now think about what this does for, like, imagine if we were coming up at this age. Oh, this would be golden, bro. I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to be Spider Man. Hell I wouldn't no. Be Wolverine, <laughs> like man, I'm Black Panther. And <laughs> okay, okay, so before, we, who are your favorite? Your just give me your three. Your top three favorite Marvel characters. Gambit. Um, up before all the Black Panther. Let's things. do superheroes. Let's not do villains. Because uh, I can't do that. <laughs> okay. Well, Gambit, he went both Gambit ways. Gambit was neutral. He was neutral. Yeah. Gambit. He was like. Um, I And uh, I love Nightcrawler. And. Uh, Man, you're an X-Men fan. Dude, the cartoons growing up. <laughs> yeah, the I know. The cartoons were the shit. I know. Um, and then what was his damn name? Uh. Fuck, uh, not Deadpool. He was awesome, of course. I'm trying to pick different ones because I can do all the easy ones. Yeah, but um, well, these are your top three. Like top, your top like, three. These are your three. Like if you're about to play a fighting game and you got to pick any three Marvel character superheroes to play as Gambit, who are Wolverine, you picking? And um, Gambit, Wolverine, and uh, Spider Man. Spider Man. See, yeah. Spider Man. Actually, I think I did play with those three in uh, in uh, Capcom. Marvel 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 Marvel. <laughs> See, I think, my, I think that was my three. My my <laughs> my three favorite is Wolverine, Spider Man, and uh, and the Incredible Hulk. Oh yeah, those are my three favorite, and those are who I played with yeah. in Marvel yeah. vs. Capcom. So, but 
what I'm trying to say is, you ask any kid that before they introduce Black Panther into the movies, oh yeah, no one is saying Nobody Black said Panther. Black Panther. Everybody's saying who we know yeah. and the the stars of yeah, because this universe. Think, unless you got somebody sitting there feeding you comics, yeah. Like me, I was blessed enough to have my uncle who was really into comic books and really into video games. Mm -hmm. He actually really pushed me in the direction that I, I went just in life when it comes to gaming. Yeah. RPGs, uh, top down, grid based, uh, turn based RPGs. Yeah. I got that from him. I still got the game uh, right there. Uh, Ogre Battle 64. Mm. I still get, I still keep it. I don't even think my family knows I still have it. Yeah. Like that, that game means a lot because it really, that changed the type of games I played. Yeah. You know, me, it was whatever was fun, button mashing. I, I just played, uh, what were those things called? Uh, I can't even, I'm so sick. But I played like Mario. I played Banjo-Kazooie. Stuff like All that. All of those, okay. Uh, I forgot what the damn term is, but um, correct me down in the comments, please. You guys mm -hmm. don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but platformers. Um, I used to only play platformers. What every kid played at that time. Yeah. And then you got this little kid in elementary school Building armies, fucking <laughs> crafting weapons, working on stats, building up my speed yeah. because it helps me attack more. Mm -hmm. And I getting like, down into the logistics. Yeah, and then it changed everything. It changed how I played Pokemon. Yeah, then it stopped being about which one looked cooler. It was like which one had the better abilities. That didn't change for me when you bring up Pokemon. That didn't change for me until this year. Uh, it didn't because ruin it. it's not funny. Yeah, it's not because once you actually get your like, like lineup think, right, think about it. You can I'm just like, go through and steamroll through players. I'm like, oh man. My my top three, I'm like, I'm going to go through. I'm going to get me a Charizard. Yeah. I'm going to get me a Butterfree. Yeah. A Pidgeot. Yeah. And then I'm going to get me a Squirtle and a Bubbasaur. Yeah. But then it's like, them shits ain't even nowhere close to like a Kangaskhan yeah, or, 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 or Chansey. Yep. Like these superstar Pokemon. Like or Dragonites. And, yeah, yeah, Dragonites. People with like, and then you really got to look at like, really got to pay attention to their their attack well, ability. He's a steel and flying, like and dragon oh, type. Your your attack isn't strong enough, so you need to use special attacks. Like when I learned that, because I used to love, I used to love the move slash. Yeah. Or I'm like, okay, so then you go in there, but oh yeah, your Charizard's attack is only like 32. He's not doing any damage. Yeah. Why do you have to tell me this? Yeah, because now you're going to go pay attention. And then you'll go out and try to catch a, a Charizard or another Pokemon that has a stronger attack. Yeah. Like, oh, I need one with a stronger attack. So, I like, one. I remember when I first learned it, I got the Skyrim. Uh, what's it called? Skyrimer? Skyrim? Skyrim? The, yeah. metal, the metal bird. Yeah. One. So it was like, all right, this, the, 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 the special attack on that Pokemon isn't good. Because I used to put Hyper Beans. Yeah, they had yeah. Arrow Ace. It had Slash. Yeah. Um, Wing cutter, yeah, but there it, you go. but then I, as I learned it, I learned why it's only getting attack based moves because I used because I used to teach hyper beam to everything, rat attacks. <laughs> <laughs> I used to teach it to everything, yeah. and then it was like because hyper beam, it's hyper beam, like you only yeah. get five of those. Yeah, like man, this man, is no, I was, I was doing it all wrong. When you learn that Sky Marie's attack is something. Uh, beyond the average yep. so this is why it's only getting like i'm like why I don't get like fire blast or shit like that yeah. why i gotta teach it this because it's not built for that so yeah. you know it robbed the it robbed the fun of it but but the point was was that how you're introduced to something yeah and it, and it changes yeah you. so now i was about to say to see, ruin it but no that's no. only for pokemon yeah only for pokemon it does ruin it when you actually learn it takes the fun out yeah. of it yeah uh, but now you got a whole generation of kids who are going to grow up and they're especially black kids and minorities in general and even women you got Black Widow you got all these different characters and then all these female characters like Black Panther's sister Lady Slay blah blah blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. you got all these women my daughters are going to be, be able to want to dress I up I want to be them my you know? daughters are going to be like, oh, I want to dress up as Michonne for Halloween. Yeah, see? You know how dope that makes me? That makes me happy. Because you, you do have something that references back to what you look like. And, you know? and it makes it easy. I, yeah, so now it's not just based off of these characters that we love. Not, not you know, nothing no, wrong. Yeah. We love these characters. Love but, you know, now it's the relatability factor is there. It makes a big difference for kids who look like me. Mm -hmm. Like, if plain and simple. Like, you see the animated, the, they are, and that's something else I've seen in the movie theaters as well that they're coming out with, with uh, an animated uh, Spider-Man series. And Spider-Man's black. Yeah. I want to say, I want to say, um, that's the character that everybody was hoping 
Childish Gambino was gonna get to be. Yeah. Mal- what was his name? They uh, supposedly was supposed to be like Childish Gambino's brother. His little brother that is becomes it. So yeah. that's dope to me. Yeah. Like now it, it, it's it's a it, it's getting to spoiler a spoiler alert. Sorry. Yeah, I guess we damn we're kind of yeah. just destroying people. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like I hope you read up. It is like Catch a up. like the playing field is starting. Wolverine to catch does up. die. Jesus, and he okay. does come back. All right, man. No, I mean, don't ruin the universe. And then some people don't even um, don't even know. Like there's there's time frames for this there's universe. Different, yeah. Like the last one I read, the last one I was paying attention, I think was two years ago. What, when Old they, Man when, Logan or the Death no? Of Logan? When this was the comic book universe, where it I I wanted don't quote me, but it was supposed to be like Mister Fantastic became evil. That was the dopest <laughs> shit ever. That was so dope. The, okay, so ba- do you and know? then they they had like a it was like a was it a gay uh, the 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 guy that played um I want to say the guy that played uh I want to say if, if if it wasn't Iron Man it was like Captain America was black um was Iron no I'm sorry Iron Man died and what's the name War Machine became Iron Man yeah and then it was like a, they had okay. like gay characters in there so because, like this because is because everybody got killed because Reed Richards don't quote me because I didn't read it word for word I read a lot of different stuff on it watched a bunch of different videos yeah me too because I didn't have the time to read it all but that whole arc was oh uh, Reed Richards became the biggest baddest dude ever mm-hmm. he became the ultimate evil yeah he wore a weird costume he was all disfigured and shit. He was wasn't he a going monster. to like different? Uh, he was going to different universes yeah, and killing people. Yeah, um, because they have a thing called like the the League of Richards or the League of I forgot what they're called, but it's a it's a whole union and it's like it's like the Council of Ricks. You watch Rick and Morty? No. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm we're sorry. The, we're gonna back up. <laughs> so they call it the Council. I don't know the exact name. Correct me in the comments. It's the Council of Richard. Yeah, Reed Richards, and it's a bunch of the smartest ones from different uh, different galaxies. Because you know Reed Richards outside of uh, Black Panther, because they say Black Panther is smarter than Reed Richards. Mm-hmm. But I'm not gonna dive into that. So it's a whole council of him, and they make all these laws and govern and sit in space and help. And one of them, he went dark side and I'm gonna get off this topic because yeah. I don't know the exacts but it's worth the read Reed Richards was one of the dopest villains of I guess time. the main point is we're showing how big this is yeah. oh, dude. but just to get back on topic just to see a Black Panther movie being made oh my god you know it's like damn we, no one would ever ever thought and then that him it not being a, a frog yeah. for the whole fucking movie had one chance Disney and you blew it <laughs> She was a fucking frog for 90% Wait, of the movie. What are you bro. talking about? Fucking Princess and the Frog. Oh, yeah. I mean, she I was a damn... Tiara was a damn frog yeah, I didn't. for 99% of the movie. <laughs> she sang one song, and it was about beignets as a human. <laughs> and then her ass was a frog. Were they like making... It was like based in the South, wasn't yeah, it? Like yeah. Like a South type Yeah, deal? but shit. She could have... She didn't have to be a frog. The whole she had to be movie. a damn frog. The whole movie. Yeah. I got you. I, I understand what you're saying. But you know, we finally But get now it. but now we're getting we're getting somewhere. Yeah. We're getting to see positive. And then they're even I, I just it makes me so happy because my family, kids I know, uh just, Hell, kids we're raising. Yeah, kids we're raising are gonna get to see this. I it's not always gonna be fighting over you be able to want to dress up as somebody who looks like you. Yeah, and, and, it, and it, that means something. Like, and it's funny because we do have those those that group of people that did know. Oh yeah, I knew about Black Panther. I yeah. always knew. Yeah, that's cool. But not a lot of people of today's day and age can go out and get a comic book. Yeah. I didn't even know they still sold comic books. <laughs> they sell comic books in Walmart. I just bought five the other day. Yeah, and you can actually buy comic books. They so, even have websites like uh, like Kindle, like Kindle streaming, where you just yeah. pay a monthly fee. I mean, I, and you have unlimited access. They got a a, a, a Marvel universe encyclopedia. Uh huh. So though these are things you can go out and buy. Yeah. So what I'm starting to do, I bought the encyclopedia, and I'm reading up on characters, and then finding the comic on that character. Yep. It's dope shit. Yeah, it's some my, dope my stuff uncle, out there. I, I I gotta. My uncle has like the when the the first copy. Of when they introduced Wolverine. Oh, okay. He has a gang of comic books, like in mint condition, in the plastic sleeves, everything. And 
He was like, yeah. I'm like, yo, can I see it? He was like, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he yeah. said, no. I was like, it, bro. then I got to re- I got to understand where this is decades. Yeah. This is years yes. right here. So, yes. yeah, it's cool to get to see something that we can actually. You know it, what I'm it, it's just, it's such a beautiful feeling that representation. Like, I keep jumping on that because representation matters. Like, when uh, you've seen a lot of that with that movie, uh, what was it called? Home? With yeah, the, home. with the alien. Yeah, and uh, the girl Rihanna, Rihanna, Rihanna played, played the yeah. little, uh, the little black chick. Yeah, that meant a lot. There were so many little girls going around talking about, look, going to the store, seeing a poster, and taking a picture next to it. Like, and then somebody put out a video. It was fucking perfect. These two, they were. It was like three grown men. They walked up to the poster. They were like. Is this how white people feel all the time? Yeah, yeah, I seen that with black. And Panther. at first, I was kind of thrown by it, but I was like, no, I get it. Mm-hmm. Like. You feel good. Yeah. Like, I could go, I mean, I probably have to get a little buff first, but I could go put on a Black Panther costume and don't feel out of place. <laughs> yeah. Like, you I don't actually have to feel weird. Yeah. Because he looks like me. You know what? And it's, it's, he, it's me. You know what? It's odd to the world because when it's like, well, Marvel characters been around for all of this time. Why y'all doing that in this now? You know, I, what I say to that is like, yo, just, you got to ease back. Yeah. Because if we if this moment is here, let's just let's, let's deal just with this moment, it. man. Let's, let's enjoy, enjoy this it. moment and be cool with it. So that's why I don't see I don't look too much into it. Yeah, I'm just excited that it's here. Yep, I'm excited that it's here, that yep. it has its own light, that people can actually go see it, and hopefully it is a good movie. Because if it's trash, I'm gonna let you know it's trash. Oh yeah, oh I'm gonna have you no know? problem telling you it's trash. Yeah, so but, but you know what? I don't know though. I don't know. I might just go around saying it's the best movie ever just they, so they, they don't make wanna, another one. But see, they, they don't, <laughs> they, they don't want to, you can't mess up on something like this. No. You can't. Did you, oh, did you got, did you hear that they already have the first cut and it's four hours and everybody was like, don't cut nothing. Uh-huh. I will pay, two, <laughs> I'll pay, I'm going to be real and I agree with 99% of the people who are on there mm-hmm. about that post. I will go and take and pay for two tickets just to watch the whole movie. Titanic was damn near four hours long. Yeah. Scarface was damn near four hours long. Yeah. The last uh what the last Star Wars movie was three hours. Yeah, that was I have no problem <laughs> sitting for four hours watching Black Panther. Uh-huh. Give me a intermission like you would with uh what was that damn thing? Uh, what was it? Was there an intermission? Oh yeah, when you watched uh, Titanic or Scarface, it yeah. was like and they turn the it. tape over or take the tape out, and put flip the new it. tape, yeah, yeah, put the new tape in. They did that for that, and they did it for the first, uh, or I think that was just a Jamaican thing. We went to the movies to see Pirates of the Caribbean in Jamaica, and they had. I was like, "What is this? We get to leave? It's not the end of the movie." <laughs> They had an intermission, like yeah, it was they, play. They had an intermission, and but it, that actually makes sense. Like, yeah. go to the bathroom, go get some, get food, some food, come and back, come back. Yeah. That actually makes more sense. You would think all theaters would do that, but they probably want a higher turnover rate. Like, we want people in and out, in and out. In and yeah, out. yeah, of course. But there, you make an experience because mm-hmm. what theaters theaters don't really make the money off the movie tickets. They make the money off the concession stands. Yeah, that's why you charge an arm and a leg. That's why even but when this you go one, to the two dollar theater, uh-huh. it'll be cheap. Uh, it'll be a cheap ticket. But you're still paying regular movie prices for the snacks. For the foods, yeah. Yeah, because that's where the money's But made. this is why people stack up on the food before they go in. Very true. You know, so. But, but okay. So now, speaking on representation mm-hmm. and laughing at you, having a break in this is, of the Caribbean in the Caribbean. Shut up, man. <laughs> oh. Shut up, man. <laughs> It was, it was, we went to the movies. It was my first time ever going to the movies in. Did, did Jack Sparrow have an extra, uh, did Jack Sparrow have an extra uh, dreadlock? Shut up, man. <laughs> Listen, I, I never went to the movies in Jamaica, and that was the first time I did it. That was the first time I had, was it, I think it was, I think it was Burger King in Jamaica. It was just, shut up, man. Just go. Okay. Just go and be quiet. Okay. So the whole point of this is, is <laughs> you're not gonna get it back. I'm listen. So this is what we gonna talk about. <laughs> no, actually, uh, we, it's almost like a mini review. Uh, Valley of the Queens is actually a uh, a web series that we were introduced to um, by the director Kevin Parkinson. Yes, and uh, you know what? I loved it. Mm-hmm. I freaking loved it. I'm waiting for the next episode because as of now, I've only seen the it's two only two. Episodes. Yeah, and um. But not only that, he does put up other content on his website yes. on, that, on that. But I'm so I was, you were getting ready to explain why you like it. Yes. 
So I'm a, yeah, you go first, okay. and then I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna break so down my. The why. reason I like it is for one representation, and the the fact not only that it's a positive message. Like I feel like you could sell this to kids. Yeah. Now was yeah, it intended can. for kids? Probably not, but. You could, I could really sit down because there's always a moral lesson in each episode. So far, that was so seen. far, yeah, yeah. So far, there's always been the whole moral lesson. Now, overall, you got the story of that. Um, God sends down the angel Michael and he goes to go find Nef uh, Queen Nefertiti's, uh, it looks like her uh, crown, and he actually busts out like some magic. And wakes and wakes her up and brings her back to modern times, and she goes and helps people within uh within society so the first one was like music industry and the next one was the video game industry yeah and just commit um, helping people to make the right decisions so i, I think we oh without giving away everything which i probably so did yeah i was about because I, I was about to say that yeah my um bad. with spoiler alert it's still worth a while i the reason why i like valley of the uh valley of the queens is for everybody that has seen money and violence it's the it's it's not the same concept as in the meaning of the show it comes from the same place, though. Uh, you can tell that there's no money behind it, but you can tell that the thought and the process is there. You can tell people are putting the thought and the process into making this. It's a passion project. Exactly. So, yeah, it's not your typical show that you see on TV every day. It's not yeah. your typical show this, that. This is not. You know, a, let me. And let, that's the point I was trying to make. I'm happy you said that. I'm sorry to cut you off. It's not a big budget big huge budget project but you can like you said the thought behind it you can they took advantage of everything the transitions yeah the intro song the um just the camera angles yeah everything the meshing the uh scene transitions it is freaking beautiful it they utilized everything they had and it was freaking great yep yeah. i loved it i loved it i think uh the stories has a uh I, I I guess I would need to see more. It's only been two episodes, yeah. so let let's let's get a couple more episodes out, and then we'll be able to actually sit down and then break down, you know, the oh, yeah. true meaning behind it. Because oh, yeah. as of right now, it's it is your you know you can actually break down every episode with oh, a yeah. true meaning. So I liked it. I loved it. I'm waiting for episode three. I seen episode I seen episode two twice because we were obviously going to yeah, review yeah. it, and uh, that was the one that um, was introduced to us. Because of what it talked about in the episode. And it did have like a representation for gaming. So this is Adventures of the Black Nose we, Nerds. We do talk yeah. about gaming. And that's why it was introduced to us. And to think about it. And th that what happened in that episode was pretty much was pretty interesting. Yeah. It was you know, dope. to see that somebody could, you know, not don't sell yourself short. Type yeah. Deal. Like so know if, your worth. If you ever get a chance, um, the link will be in the description. Yeah, we'll sure the, the description. Um, the, the the director. He's the director and the writer. And the correct. Producer, writer. Yeah. Um, I want to say he wrote the intro song. The man of many hats. Yeah. Man. His name Kevin is Kevin Parkinson. Parkinson's, and um, yeah. The the actual name of the channel is Valley, Valley of, the of the Queens. Queens. And there is other content on there. He has some trailers on there. He has other things on there, but that. That web series is actually a good a, a good uh, good watch if you ever get some time. Oh yeah, and you know I just like um, I like seeing stuff like that because it it shows that you can get your content out there. Exactly. I mean, look at us. We're sitting here. We're making this happen. Yeah. We're, we're using. We're actually these, doing it. Yeah. We're using all these mediums that are open to us. Yeah. And all you need is internet and some time. Yep. You know, and maybe some video equipment and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But you. We can you can get it out there, and that's something we always talk about. But technically, that's all you need. Because literally, I could just you can send me that file and I can upload it. Yeah, and that's that. Yeah. Like I don't need nothing else. Yeah, you know we 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 obviously go into it more go into it more depth. But watching Valley of the Queens, it's inspiring. Like, like I wouldn't be surprised if he was like, "Yo, I shot it with this camera." You know, and that's how I got it. You know what I'm saying? I shot it with that. Or I used the, this mic. I used the mic from the... I wouldn't be surprised. Because all of that stuff is at hand for people now. Yep. You have it. Your phone is pretty much all in it. Oh, there. man. You speak Steve Lacey. Uh, do you know about him? No, who's He's that? He's the bass player for um, for the internet. Oh, you know... Uh, for the internet. For the internet. Uh, what's it called? The band that came from Odd Future with Sid... Uh, 
the girl, the lesbian chick. Said, that's the name of their group. The, the group internet is called the internet. Oh, but he's that's a base. dope ass name. It's the dope ass name. <laughs> They're dope as fuck. Yeah, they are dope as fuck. Mm-hmm. I repeat, the internet is dope as fuck. <laughs> so then you take, um, so then you got Steve Lacey, who's part of the internet. This guy, he couldn't afford to get a full studio set up. So, but what he could afford was an um, an iPhone. Mm-hmm. He recorded his whole album off of his iPhone. Man, layered it. I forgot what app he used. He even did a TED talk on it. It's called "Utilizing the Maximum" yeah. or "Maximizing Your Minimum." Mm-hmm. Something like that. Don't. I'm sorry. Quote me, and we'll put. I, could probably I guess put I maximized my minimum when I blew my laptop or my computer up. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he, util- he wrote a whole album, did layers. So he, you just see like 25 layers for yeah. one track, and he did it all on his iPhone. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. And like it, it's it's crucial. Steve Lacey is the shit. Yeah, but uh, it it just once again, man. Oh, uh, it, it just. I'm so sorry. I'm all stuffy and shit here. I can't believe I'm lasting this long. Hey, man, what a way to bring the year in. Man, I'm telling you, <laughs> I'll quit. I'll quit. Yeah, I ain't no punk. I ain't saw. But I'm glad, and I know you're glad to see something that represents. Oh yeah, you know us and the that, cultural that's why aspect I like and everything, yeah. and it was it's it's an all in good taste. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's not like he's trying to sell sex. Yeah, it's not like he's trying to sell violence. And it's got a dope it's, fight scene in there. It's, too, tip, so it's that. typically the opposite of all of that. Yeah, it, it, really, it really is. is. The opposite of you know, all we've only like I said, only seen two, two episodes. episodes. Um, a real breakdown wouldn't even. I wouldn't. You see, I couldn't even do a full review on this unless I watched the full season. Gotcha. You. you see what I'm saying? So after watching. These two episodes, my interest is up there. Yeah, I'm interested oh yeah. for the next I'm episode. Ready. So we're, we're, we're just waiting. And now, okay, so now rolling over into gaming. So, you know, speaking about because the last uh, second episode of Valley of the Queens was about gaming. Yeah. So rolling that over. Okay, so we, we've we had a major, 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 terrible, drastic, tragic, tragic incident within the gaming community. And we we had a swatting incident and swatting is when you call the SWAT team or the police and tell and you have them basically raid the home of a other gamer while they're a online. streamer or something. Yeah. And this this has been happening for years. This is not this not ain't new. new. This, this is, is not, not new, new. Any way, shape, or form. Swatting has been going on forever. And and it's been in the mainstream media before. Yeah. And uh you have people like People that have been swatted, like I mean, live streamed, any yeah, yeah on stream, yeah, they're being like swatted. you see cops, guns in their face, like, yeah, all type of craziness. Now with this situation that happened, the reason why it's different is is because of where it stemmed from. This and stemmed, not just that, but somebody died. Well, yeah, I mean, if if this didn't happen, that guy would still be here. True, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. With with what happened, it was over a Call of Duty match. Yep. Now the videos we got this from is uh, obviously Drama Alert, uh, Keemstar. The, the description for these two videos will be in the description yep. as well. But the base of the story is Call of so a team had a Call of Duty match. They get into an argument. Uh, one guy starts posting his do- his well they they call it docs but it's like documents almost like your address and your IP address all that stuff and he, but in, he he posts not his address but the the victim's address right yep. and then they get into a, a argument they team kill each other they get mad it, the, the match was only each person was going to win a dollar and 50 cents you see what i'm saying this was a they they call them a they they have like um, I forget what they what they're exactly called, but we can get into a match and everybody puts money in a pot. Like they call it like money eights is is yeah, yeah, an example. Yeah. Put money in the pot and then whoever wins, you basically double up on your money. Whatever team wins, double up. Um, and that's what they were doing. They lost the match. They were team killing each other in the match. One dude left. They get into an argument on Twitter, and then the dude posts his address, and then he I guess he gets the guy says to the swatter which he's an actual swatter he has admitted to swatting uh the cwl event in dallas the the call of duty uh world league and uh has and then has admitted to swatting other people and has talked about why he's swatting all of this will be in those videos below so this guy swatted these people he argument on twitter 
You won't do nothing. The guy, the guy, swats this house. Now, when you listen to the 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 phone call, because he calls like a he calls like the city hall. City hall transfers him to the police department, uh, right? So now, yeah. So now, uh, the number now, uh, the guy hangs up. They call the guy back. He answers, and this is the guy says. And I, I won't don't quote me word for word, but in a nutshell, he goes, I just shot my dad. He's not breathing. I have a gun pointed at my mom and my brother. They're in the closet. They're not going to move. Um, and that's that the lady, the dudes on the phone is trying to talk to him. He was like, is there any way you could put the gun down? No, the dude's doing his best to talk to the guy. Hey, where are you at in the house? Are you is the front door in the north or are you in the back? And he's talking to them. Wow. Calm and this is the conversation that they're having. Long story short, it breaks up. The police show up, immediately go in, and that guy gets shot. For no reason. Now I told you already, that guy didn't give his address. He gave somebody else's address. So somebody that had nothing to do with that Call of Duty match. Wow. Nothing to do with the gaming community. Nothing to do with none of none of none the of situation this. that happened. None of, none of these people that are involved. Nothing. Just a complete innocent person was shot and killed because of the swatting. Now, I think, and also in these videos, you'll be able, the first video you'll be able to see the interview. You'll hear the interview Kingstar did with the the guy that swatted. Alleged, yeah, the swatter. In the in the beginning of the interview, he has no remorse. He he says, he says, I, and I can quote this: "I'm not going to take all responsibility for it because I didn't pull the trigger." That's what he said. I was so like wow. distorted, like is like, this real type like, type deal, you know? So, um, but it, isn't that a trip? How you're able to feel so removed from things because of how out of reach you are? Like, let's say we got up here and said something crazy mm -hmm. and somebody acted on it. Well, we didn't tell them to. Yeah. You know, people do it all the time. Like, well, why, why'd you let them listen to it? Or yeah. why, you know, like, words, words, not to get all biblical, but words have powerful meaning. No, you're right. Yeah, like, you I mean, can, look at the, I can go through countless of, of examples. Yep. You know, from rappers. Yeah. From, you know, the church. Yeah. Political people. Yeah. They mean something. Words, you can tell. Listen, Beyonce speak. could tell you right now. I don't like this person, and all of the beehive not gonna like look, that person. Look what happened to Carrie Hilson? <laughs> so look what happened to Carrie Hilson? She made an opinion, and the beehive shut her down, destroyed her. her. Damn near her career, damn near. Ended. Yeah. So with me, I'm I'm like, you gotta understand that you have a following, especially if you if you if you have 32 people that follow you on Twitter. You have a following. You have a following. That is a following. Yeah. People yeah. follow you. People are watching you. People are listening to you. You have influenced someone in some way. So if you are, if you have some type of following, you should be mindful of the things you say yeah. and mindful of the things you do. Yeah. So this is why, like, when people try to separate, you know, the the content from, from the, person. the person, you can't. Yeah. He did it. He, yeah, said, he it. said it. He rapped that lyric. He, yeah. you know, that's a nutshell right there. You know, if if he and it, I was just having this conversation today. You can't sometimes when you get to when you create a character, you are gonna have to play that character for the look at Slim Jesus. Yep, look what happened. Come yeah. on now, you are gonna have to play that character. Somebody called him out. Like, so somebody gonna test you, you on you that can't character. Be out here fake on the internet, acting like you're a shooter. Exactly. You're a big time drug dealer. So you're the guy, and then when you get jammed up in the street. But this is why this is why like I like I said having this conversation when you make a when you get into that realm of being a a, a character you're, you're 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 trying to threaten the needle there yeah because if you're not really like that and somebody press you on that or somebody says something to you about that and then you say oh that's not me that I'm just not oh so now you're an actor yeah you know what I'm saying you, like you didn't say that in your videos the, like the two people I like to use we, well we were actually talking about Joe Budden. Okay. In the in that regard, so now think about it. We're talking about Joe Budden on when he was on Everyday Struggle. True. The character he played was, I don't like act, and I don't I don't like academics, and I don't like nothing that he stands for. 
That's what I got from him. Every time he would talk, he would... He would shit all over everything. Exactly. Yeah. But then he came out in his podcast and said, I do that for the show. But, people but in real life, I'm cool with him. I talk to him every day. We are cool with each other. But see, that's not cool. That's not cool because now everybody think, think you... you know, if I'm a fan of Joe Button, like, I don't like academics it? either. Yeah, like, damn. Yeah. You see what I'm yeah. saying? So this is why your words and your actions and things you do influence people on a daily basis. You know, so with the swatting incident, uh, to me, the reason why it touched home, because that can happen to any one of us. Yeah. At any point Dude, in we, time. We stream. We stream we now. We podcast. We make videos. We're YouTube. Yeah. Like it, it's, you know, we're on Twitter a lot now. Time. So like, we have a following. Yeah. You know, and if someone doesn't like me because of this, that, and the third, what's stopping from somebody from swatting me? True. I mean, I got that dude was a father. He yeah. died. Yeah. Hell, I'm a father. You're yeah. so. You know when is the when is it? When, what is what's cool for us to put out there? True. You know, after this situation, I mean, we've all heard about swatting incidents. Yeah, it's not. But after nice. seeing somebody actually die, die. from it, it's kind of like yo, I kind of want to step back, right, and kind of adjust what I show. Yeah. On this, oh, even yeah. on Twitter. Oh, yeah. You know? you know, like for me, um, I remember I went and changed my location on my Twitter mm -hmm. once I really started getting into it. Um, I went and changed. It, it just, I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'm some big time celebrity and not in any way, shape or form. But it's just a simple fact that you, you don't know what people deal with. I'm going to tell know, you. You know what I mean? You don't, I, it's, I can't, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Yeah. I'm going to say, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you why you. It's cool to think that you're not a big celebrity, but for the the twelve people that follow you, to them you may be. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? True. To the you know the thirty two. I mean, we we follow people that have millions of followers. True. Right. Very you true. can't keep up with a million followers. Yeah. But if you got twenty diehard followers that rock with you, that watch you stream every true. day, to them you're a celebrity. True. To them you've made it. To them you have something. To, true. They watch you. They support you. Very true. You know they donate to you. Stuff like that. I heard one time somebody said to me, hey, once you get paid for something, you're a professional. That is the realest you shit see what I'm I've saying? ever heard. So that kind of fits into that because once you get a following of whatever amount, yeah, you have a following. Yeah. So you need to, uh, things need to be adjusted and taken care of. Now you may think, oh, this small scale, I only get two, three viewers per, I, that's what I average. So she, what? Yeah. You know, in, them two, three views could be the ones watching. Yep. Them two, three views could be the ones showing up True. to your crib because they're a fan. Yeah. That happens. Yep. You know what I'm Phil saying? DeFranco, it happened to a bunch of people. Yeah. There was a bunch of YouTubers um, and people, actually Phil DeFranco did a, sh a whole series on mm -hmm. it or a whole episode on it where people, um, they had to, like one guy walked into a set while they were recording. Yeah. And he was like, who are you? And he was like, oh, I'm just a fan. And he was like, well, how did you get here? Oh, I just walked through the door. Like he had to hire security. Yeah. He had to do all look type at, of crazy look stuff. Look at Jake Paul. One dude jumped the fence and just walked into their crib and yeah. they let him in and thought he was a part. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm just here because I'm a fan. And it was like, everybody started heck? freaking out. Yeah. Because yeah. yep. these things happen. But you, you have to understand that you're influencing someone in some way, yep. you know? So when you hear that there's, like, there's hacker groups out there, there's kids that follow these hacker groups and they, they want to be a hacker just like yep. you. There's people that follow this, you know, this swatter and they, I want to be just like him. Yep. You know, he has fame. People know him now, yep. you know? but or infamy, but yeah. It, it, yeah, infamy. So that, that is the perfect, that is the perfect, he, he's, um... That's the perfect way to he'll, establish he'll them. Honestly, people, go down to history now. That you have to. You're the you. You, you know, it's the sad because yeah. he has a name now. His name is out there. He'll be immortalized. For exactly. This. I mean, crazy. look at look at all the people we can use as an example. I won't go down that rabbit yeah, hole, yeah, but yeah. Um, to me, it's just something we have to think about. And it's something that, hey, if you're trying to be a YouTuber, if you're trying to be a podcaster, you're trying to be keep you know, yourself safe. Listen, I'm a huge fan of, of Charlemagne the God. I'm a huge fan of him because of how I don't I think that's truly how he is as a person. Oh yeah, I don't I don't you think know? that's him being fake. And uh or a front. The reason why I brought him up is because he just he was talking about something the other day. He was talking about obviously the Joe Button academics thing 
and academics and I forget that per, the, that group name, the uh, Desis and Mero. They're they're like a they had a podcast and they were doing all types of stuff. They got into it with with academics and I won't touch on that. But he said he was like, "Yo, you got to know what you you getting yourself into." And the reason he brought it up because he was like, you can't get mad when you judge people when you place your platform on that. Yep. So if academics, if for example, nobody can't get mad at Vic, Vic Mensa for saying what he said about academics. Yeah, because you call these Chicago dudes sh- shy rat goons and yeah. stupid people yeah. and niggas and this. Yeah. And Savages. You, you talk to them you like that behind your computer. But now you got one in front of you. Now you got one in front of you, so you got to answer to that, right? And I'm not, I'm not saying that. Uh, uh, academics is right wrong. wrong. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Still, I'm not. I'm. D- that's his content. That's what you base his platform on. Now, when you build that, and that's what you make your money off. You of, can't get mad when somebody do it to you, you yep. right? So yeah. now that so that's what he was talking about. But then he goes on to say, he was like, "Listen, you got to know what you built for." I've been punched in the face for doing radio. Yeah. <laughs> and I just, I'm just. Remember th- that? What was it? Little Kim's the people? Came I don't know. Out? It was, I know he got, <laughs> when they was they like, uh, give me a drop. I know they did that. Yo, can I get a drop? And he was like, what's up? You're trying to drop. And the dude ran up on him and swung on him. I remember that. Uh, he talks about that. Uh, something where happened where he, he got into a fight in like a, a, a convenience store. Something like that. But. He knows what he's getting himself yeah. into. Yeah, he, like you said, he's made for that. <laughs> yeah, I'm made for this now. I'm I've been doing it. This happened to you me. You think academics is made for it? I I think he's made for it at home. Uh, I got you. I think he's made for it at home. This is why you. As he's, long as it's not physical. Yeah, he's, he's with it. He can I'm, deal with the digital age. I don't know if he can fight. I'm not saying all of that. Yeah. I, I don't think he has a lot of people around him. That's like. I got. I don't you. think he has an entourage like that. Got you. You know what I'm saying. He's cool. His I watch his content. I listen to him. Um, Same here. I don't think that. I don't think he's a bad person. No. I just think that. I mean, I, you know, I can't even judge him. No, because he's the news do this all the time. All day. You know and that, and and that's why I've never had a problem with him. Yeah, because news gets paid all this type of money. Off of doing the, the same, same shit. exact thing. Now, on the other hand, we can't argue that maybe because the news is already doing this, maybe we don't need you to do it. Well, but why would I get mad at somebody for profiting? Yeah, I, I think when you break when you break him down like strategically, he's he's touched a branch of work that um that we get from that we get from somebody with like a strong opinion because he can talk well, right? He can elaborate on stuff well. Right, based off of his content. So yeah. when he sits there and he tells you about like music sales, this, that, and the third, you can tell he he talks to people yeah. that know some things yeah. about such he's and done such. His you know, so yeah. he he's in there. He's, he's doing not the work. I'm not I'm not wronging him from that because he's giving you knowledge that's already out there. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's, we 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 do that now, but I think with like certain things, it could have been done differently. Because sure. even, even like even when Jeezy was on Everyday Struggle, he talked about how like oh think about it, oh uh, you know I'm really out here with these guys, you know I don't care what they wearing and all that. I think we've had this conversation. I don't care what they wearing. I don't care what they dress like. I don't care none of that stuff. As long as they're not out here robbing me and oh, <laughs> doing all of this, good. I'm good. Man. So this is why I can go and chop it up with what he talked about like YG. And, yeah. And T Grizzly and all of these people that's out here making money, doing something. Yeah, some people may con- not consider it positive, but it ain't what they was doing before. Yeah, there's a million other things, dude. You know, you know what? When you give people, and that, and that's why investing back into your neighborhoods, um, and that's why making sure the tax money go where it's supposed to be. Yeah. There's after school programs, and making sure there's different local sports and different local activities, program, whatever, any type of. Any type of all of that. That stuff is necessary. Yeah. And the, oh, yeah excuse me. <laughs> you good? Yeah. And the reason and the reason why it's necessary is because you can be doing something else. Exactly. Yeah. And that's that's why I'm not Yeah. I'm not stressing on that. I think when we when we wrap this up back around to gaming. Wrap it let's let's yeah. wrap it no, back go, to go, let's go, wrap go. it back to gaming. Well, you know, I used to I used to hear people give my wife crap, you know, like, oh, you know, Baron, he plays games. 
like, oh, I, he's grown. Why does he still play video games? That's mm. what kids do. I was like, what would you rather me be doing? Would yeah. you rather me be at the bar? Would See, you rather me? I could go do, <laughs> so, I could do quote unquote grown man shit. Yeah. I could be at the club. I could be at I could be at the bar. Hey, I could go to the some tobacco lounge. I could go whatever you. I could do that grown shit. We could do that. But guess what? Not only is it gonna cost more, but now I'm running the streets. Mm -hmm. Now I'm not home. Now I'm not home. You know where's Baron at? Yeah. See, like, that, this is one of the arguments that my aunt had when she was telling my wife, because Christina hated when I played video games, and the problem with it, she hated not now. Yeah. But the the problem with it, I, I was like. I play video games when I ain't doing nothing. Yeah. This is before the, the streaming, before the podcast. If I'm playing video games, I ain't got nothing else to do. Yeah. You know, I'm, I am I wasn't playing video games like that when I was working or when I'm working. So on my days off, I'm going to play video games. Yeah. So, yeah. What would you, what, 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 would am, you I, really what am I to do? Yeah. You know, you work, I work. Yeah. You tired when I'm tired too. Hell, you probably tired when I'm not tired. So what you want me to do? You want me to go out, chill with friends? Yeah. You want me to go hang out with friends? You want me to go to the courts? Like, what do you want me to yeah. do? Like, what would be more socially acceptable? Because mm -hmm. that's all it is. It's a social. It's a social thing. Yeah. Nobody, people. It's that little, that slight hesitation. Like, oh, what is what does Mary do on his free time? Yeah. Play video games. See, like I, it, it's I, it's it's all about the perception, the outside perception. Yeah, I don't hesitate no more. Oh no, I don't. I, I wear this for pride. Of course, and I used to. I used to because I used to think like that, but I don't think like that no more because everything that you, that people do, like, oh, it's funny. I had a, I had a conversation with the guy, right? And he goes, oh yeah, man, you just play video games. I'm like, yeah, that's yeah. all I do. And he was like, well, well, why? I was like, well, I, I enjoy it. Yeah. He's like, well, you don't do nothing else. I'm like, well, let me ask you, what do you do? Yeah. What do you like to do? He's like, oh, I like to, you know. Watch uh, sports stuff. I like to have a beer here too. I'm like, oh, right. Shit. so that's all you do is watch sports and drink beer. That's all you do is yeah, exactly. So I'm sitting there asking you. That's all you do. Yeah. Oh, wow. you don't go partying and all of that. Yeah. No, no, I don't like I, me neither. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the what's the difference? I could drink at home if I want. I could I could play games and watch the game at the same time. Hey, you okay? Speaking on that, <laughs> and um, speaking on this, and this might be one of my last major. Points. Yeah. Yeah. I think everybody out there needs to go ahead and get over the fact and realize that if you play fantasy football, you are playing a role-playing game. You're acting as if you are a head coach and a GM, all embodied into one, and you're going out and you're drafting players. You're playing Pokemon, you're if you playing, ask me. You're playing Pokemon. <laughs> You're playing you're playing Dungeons and Dragons mm -hmm. except you're playing with real life people. Yeah. That's all it is. Get over yourself. You're a nerd. <laughs> if you play fantasy sports, it listen to the first word. Fantasy. <laughs> you're a nerd and it's okay. Welcome. Welcome. That's uh, crazy. I, no, I never pissed, sat there no, and thought about I, that I, like I that. argue with people all the time. Mm -hmm. I'm like you get gassed up over fantasy football. I know people who have fantasy football parties yeah. for draft day. They have a barbecue, all of this. But imagine if I was having a dungeon and Dungeons and Dragons event, yeah. and I barbecued and everything beforehand before we rolled the dice for our character stats. Yeah, no, what's the difference? There is no, there difference. is no difference. There is no difference. There's no fucking difference. There, there's no difference because it's the same thing. You're rolling the dice. Yeah, I'm taking a chance on putting these characters in in this position. And I'm hoping that when Monday comes around or Tuesday, because that they did well. What what do people what people bring up like? Oh, stats. Yeah. Stats is the same thing. It's the same fucking. It's the well, same the thing. The last ten battles. Yeah, I had this many touchdowns. Because oh yeah, well Tom Brady's never lost against this team before. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's just hey, my Charizard's never lost against us. Uh, 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 you against know, a, uh, uh, an executor or yeah, something like yeah. that. <laughs> never lost against a Venusaur or anything like that. Like it's this. Yeah, it's the same so thing. So get over Stati yourselves, guys. You're playing fantasy. And and yeah, football. I think it's because of the sp it, it's, it's the, the sports. It's the aspect. stigma. Oh yeah, it's a man's sport, but yeah. you're not playing. Yeah, like you're not out there playing no, it. You out there watching. People. You're picking people based. Yeah, off so their there is no. So like, it's cool to think about it like that. Stronger than that wide receiver. Exactly. So I'm gonna pick him. Mm -hmm. I got a better chance. Oh man. You know what? I don't have a good I don't have a good running back. So let me go grab an extra wide receiver because I need this many yards for my flex spot. Yeah, yeah. For, 
It's oh my god! It's, stra- it's realize, strategy behind there's it. There's so much strategy and so much planning mm-hmm. and so many RPG aspects to that. You're role playing. <laughs> it's a role playing game. That's why it's called fantasy football <laughs> and not coaching. I love. I'm gonna love using that one. <laughs> no, that dude. I had that argument all the time. Yeah, I never looked at that. Yeah, but in and on that note, that's so. I just want to leave that and. I'm really just happy I made it through this without sneezing. Yeah, man. Every hey, happy 2018, dog. Happy 2018 happy to years, everybody. Man. Um, we didn't get to see you guys or talk to you guys for Christmas. Happy yeah. holidays. Oh, yeah. All that good um, stuff. You know, in the comments below, what did you guys get for Christmas? Yeah. Um, let us and know. And what are you guys looking forward to for 2018? Uh, not only with us, but with yourselves. Like, uh, what is it that you want to accomplish? Uh, I know we talked about that in the beginning of the podcast, but... Let us know. You know, let us know. And make sure to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah, you can follow me at XT Jones, everything across the board. And me, Baron J67, everything across the board. And make sure to subscribe to our other YouTube channels, our individual yeah, YouTube channels. Yeah, we uh gaming content on there. Yep. Um reviews on different stuff that we yep. talk about. Uh, you have the 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 League of Noob. League of Noob. <laughs> um yeah, so basically, long story short, I'm starting to play League of Legends and I'm getting my crap pushed in royally <laughs> and you get to watch that journey. That should be amazing. Yes. Yeah. So, um yeah, man, it was just a it was a great thing to come back down here. Man. I'm I'm glad you're doing good. Oh, yeah. You still uh get your sick on. Yeah. Hopefully I'm you gross. get better soon. So and hey, make, subscribe people. Subs- make sure to hit that subscription button. Subscribe and uh I guess we'll talk to you guys later. All right. Much love and y'all have a good one. Happy New Year's. Peace out.